So today guys, we're gonna be showing you guys how to unlock the secret Ved Med chess piece. Now, I don't know how to correctly say it and I do not want to kill the name, but it is a name chess piece you get. Now, the first thing you guys need to do is make sure you start stage one of the gunner class. So you go to your specialization tree and then make sure you hit start field research. And as soon as you start it, it will give you the two objectives you need to do. The first one reads kill Roach in bank headquarters. Now you can do this on normal or harder difficulty. And then the other one is defeat enemies using mounted guns. So obviously the easiest one is to do kill Roach on bank headquarters. Now all you have to do is make sure you go to bank headquarters. Make sure you do it on the normal mode. So if it is an invaded mission where it's the red symbol, make sure you toggle that to be normal. An easy way to check that is when you look at the bottom, it says the boss loot drop roach and you know you have it on the right mode. Now, once you get to the very end, it's pretty simple. Just finish it off. I highly recommend to run through these to do it on normal or hard like I'm doing here because it would be a little bit too boring to do it on normal um, for me. So I actually put it on hard, but obviously doing on normal is gonna allow you to kill the enemies a lot faster. So that's what I would recommend doing just to get through these. And all you have to do is kill him. So just shoot him. And on hard, he isn't hard to kill at all. He shouldn't even put any damage on you. There you go. Skill build. And then you should get that notification that says research objective completed. Roach. And then when you go back to the gunner class, you can see that we completed. Now, the next thing is mounted gunnery. Defeat enemies using mounted guns. Now, the quickest way to do this is at control points. There's actually two of them that are actually pretty easy to knock this out. The first one's going to be at this control point just north of us, the vault. And what you need to do is clear out the first wave, right? So you get to the defending part. As soon as you finish this off, go to the very top and then go to the turret. The turret's going to be at the very top. So, yeah. Once you clear out, it's gonna say defend control point and then the enemies come from in front of you. And that's gonna be an easy way for you guys to get some of these kills pretty quick. Now, another one that is really easy to get those mounted kills is actually Navy Plaza. So same thing, you defeat the first half of the control point and when it says defend, then just get on the turret and there's gonna be some enemies coming out. As soon as you do that, get those 20 kills and it should be done. So either one of those. I had to do two of them. You see, we, we just need two more to get this done. So we'll finish this guy off right here. And then we just need one more. So that guy right there. And then that will be 20. As soon as you do that, you should get a big notification on your screen right there. Stage one completed. And all you have to do is you can finish off the control point or you can fast travel back to the base of operation. Now back at the base of operation, this one's actually a little bit easier to do. Stage two, and this is what is going to unlock the Ved Med chest. So we finished the first one. Stage two is defeat Lieutenant Kelly at the Airspace Museum. Can be done on normal or hard difficulty. And it says defeat 20 bleeding enemies. So I highly recommend running some type of status effect build. And then I'm gonna run the Steger Hive. And the same thing, once you get in front of airspace, make sure that it says targeted loot boss drop Lieutenant Kelly and then start the mission. This is super easy to do. Just throw out the Stinger Hive. Let the Stinger Hive do the work. As soon as they start to bleed, if you have some type of status effect build, just start shooting the other enemies. If you run Creeping Death, it works too. Every time you do that and it's pretty easy to really get this one done now you can also swap out your builds once you finish that and then run through it i actually ran a status effect build on all of these and was able to run through all the missions typically it's what i use on heroic when i'm running those speed runs so for me it was easy as soon as you finish any of the objectives bleed them dry so we all we have to do now is kill lieutenant kelly at the very end now lieutenant kelly will be the final boss that comes out so he's the very last person you kill so you have to run through the whole mission. Obviously, if you're doing this on normal or hard, it shouldn't be hard at all. Even with a horrible build, you guys should be able to knock this out. So like I said, I recommend doing it on normal if you don't really care about the, the gear. But if you do really care about farming at the same time, like right now, I don't really need any of the gear in the game. So if you do care about farming, that's where what you could do is you can leave it on heroic or challenging, whatever difficulty you can do it on, and then do all of these. And as soon as you kill them, it will say the vest is unlocked, stage two complete, and you'll also get a charcoal die. So there you guys go. And all you have to do to unlock this now is head back to the base. 
So if you want to just double check, you can see that we completed it, right? So we have it unlocked. We got the vanity charcoal die and the weapon die. And then you just have to head over to the crafting station because it is an item that is a blueprint and you have to craft it. So you go down here, you'll see it. It is a Petrov chest piece. It always comes with weapon damage as you see and two random bonuses. So we're just gonna craft one for you real quick. And there you go. You can see we got weapon damage, skill damage, repair skills, and it comes with the talent Perfect Brace. So while in cover, weapon handling is increased by 50%. So if you guys have been looking at getting this chest piece, well, this is where you guys get it. If you didn't even know about it, well, this is the tips and tricks to get it. We'll be doing a lot of these on this channel. I felt like I've never really done these in depth. So I was like, you know what? I got a new character. Let's do it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.